uh, an operator here that I want to change the speed on. Um, in this case, the door was running like crap because it runs a lot and the open speed got slower than it was. So the door, the operator knows when a door runs rough and it actually slows down the speed so that it doesn't beat up the door. Um, so I'm gonna speed it up, back up, but I'm also gonna speed up the closing speed because at the moment, if you watch, the door runs, I'm gonna guess it's running about 6,800 6, RPM in the opening direction. And I've got automatic closing set up, so I'm gonna trip that. It's only running 4,000 RPM in the closing direction. So you see it's running more slowly in the closing direction than the opening direction. So whatever the case, I'm gonna show you how to adjust speed and how to look at some diagnostics on this door specifically related to the door running rough. This is Sumlink, and this is a technician interface that we use to uh, to make adjustments to speed and other things on the operator. There's roughly 100 things you can adjust, as well as diagnostics. So it comes with this power block, but I'm gonna plug it into my computer. Um, it's not actually connecting to the computer, it's just using the computer for power. So you see the two red lights that come on there. Um, now you can do this with a tablet or a cell phone or anything that has Wi-Fi, really. A desktop computer, if it has Wi-Fi, I'm using a laptop. Um, the only device that is a little bit different is if you use an Android cell phone, you'll have to download the Sumlink app. Uh, everything else, you'll actually just use the onboard web browser. So I'm going here to my Wi-Fi network, clicking on it, and I am looking for a network that is called Sumlink. Right there, it pops up. So I'm clicking on some link. Now I've connected to this some link before. If I hadn't, it would ask me for a password. If it does ask you for a password, the password is this five digit number here. So now what I'm gonna do, tablet, cell phone, whatever, I'm gonna go to my web browser, which in my case is Safari, and I'm gonna enter this IP address, which is gonna open a web page. Kick me off of the, here we go. Kick me off of the Wi-Fi network, but I'm mm -hmm. connected to it again. And I'm opening this web page. And the web page that I'm opening is actually on the Sumlink device. I'm not connected to internet. And you'll get this page and I'm gonna go over here to garage door and click that. And then there I'm gonna hit connect operator. And then here I'm gonna hit search for operator. And while it's searching, I go to the operator and I hit the red radio button. And almost immediately the Sumlink finds, this is the serial number of the receiver on the operator. So I go over here and I hit connect. And now I'm connected to, um, to the operator and I can access a bunch of the software that's on the operator. Um, in my case, I wanna to go to settings to change the speed, but before I go there, I'm gonna go into info and force path open, just to show you how you can look at uh, what is happening to the door. So if you have a door that slows down, um, there can be several things that are causing it to slow down, but sometimes one of the things that causes it to slow down is a door that runs rough. Um, if that's the case, in my case, I already lubricated this door because I need it to run faster. If I don't lubricate it, if I don't change anything with the door and I try to increase the speed, the operator actually won't let me increase the speed. So this doesn't look too bad because uh, the curve is fairly flat. Um, and then there's the normal drop off at the end. So normally you don't want more than about a 15% variation in most of the force path. So you've got the slight start up there um, and then your variation actually here is within 10%, which is pretty decent. So there's a separate force path for open and close and you'll wanna check them both if you're changing it because if the operator has changed speed since installation. 
But in my case, I'm going to want to go into settings and then into speed. And normally the factory default on an Evo 2060 is 7,200 RPM here and 4,000 RPM here. Uh, this door was running rough enough that the operator actually slowed this down to 6,400 and left it at 4,000. So if I click factory settings, it'll put it back to what factory was. But in my case, I want to leave the opening speed at 7,200, but I want to uh, change the closing speed to match the opening speed. So I can grab this and pull it, or I can just click this and type it in. And then once I'm done, I hit save. And when I hit save, it asks, it asks me to verify because it's going to need to do a force reset. So I hit OK. And now on the operator, you'll see a slowly blinking green LED light. That means the operator needs to reset its force. So I run the operator. And now it's running at 7200 RPM. And then in the closing direction, it's also going to run at 7,200 RPM. Now, if my door is still running a little bit rough, the operator may run more than one full cycle for the force setting. But if my door is smooth enough, then it's only going to run one full cycle and a half cycle, which is setting the soft start and stop. Then it's going to go to the closed position, and when the lights come on solid, programming is done, and it runs to the open position again. And it did all that by itself after I hit the remote button. Uh, it set all of those things by itself. And on this door, because it's set up a timer to close, after the timer times out again, it's going to close automatically. And now if I go back out of this oh no it won't close automatically okay if i go back out of this i can click back into speed and verify that my speed is actually still where i adjusted it and it is which means my door is running well 